Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Booyah! What's good, everybody? The thought it were done, the thought it were over. Well, he's not. We're back in, we're on, we're over. You know what time it is. Get that badger in and on and over here. He's in, he's on, he's over here. Got eating on, that stifling in here. It's totally unnecessary, but... What the lady wants, the lady gets. So the heating is on full beam. So I've got window open, blind closed. Can't really see that picture, my brother's picture that he's got me. Don't know if it's, I need to maybe rejig. Can sort of see it, can't, a bit of Leeds memorabilia. Got That's doing notes. I don't know why that's in there. It's just to make me look cool. Couple of quick shout outs to do for me members. Appreciate each and every one of you. It's like one ninety nine a month or 99 p a month, something like that. So shout out to Daz or Leeds, aren't we? And shout out to Sean Rooney. Daz, all leads, aren't we? Good lad. Sean Rooney, good lad. Both top lads, actually. Take that back. Top lads. So is it time to blame Patrick Bamford? Any long-term member or subscriber of the Z channel will remember that during the Quick Ship Vids era, I did a is it time to blame Bamford video and that helped me gather, garner some pace in this YouTube world. So Quick Ship Vid, is it time to blame Bamford? Farky, Faki Faka Faka has gone off on one with a long response about Bamford. Loved every single second of it. He said it took him a bit of getting used to how how Bamford is. Tall guy sort of suggested that he can sometimes look a little bit moody. He referenced how many, um, how much movement he's doing, how much, how many runs he's making, how how important it is for the side. I was loving it, loving it, loving it. Just a quick quote of something he said. He said, Pat Patrick's natural appearance, he's such a tall guy with his movement. If he scores a goal, he looks like a, he has natural self-confidence. He's an elegant, he's elegant, scores goals like that world at Peterborough. If he's not scoring goals, then people say natural self-confidence looks like arrogance. Well, and he also referenced the fact that he doesn't really need to talk to Bamford. He's very well experienced within this realm. So, you know, of getting abuse, basically, if you're not scoring goals. But it's just funny how it, it was just sort of alluding to the fact that when he is scoring, everybody's, like, waxing lyrical about him and he's, like, the best player, best striker. He actually made a joke, said he's, you know, they talk about him as though he's better than Van Basten in his prime. And then when he's not scoring, you know, he's, like, the worst striker that anybody's ever seen. So I thought I would just, this is what I did a couple of years ago, I thought I would just rejig a few statistics around so everybody's all over Michael Bridges now out there, everybody, because he does a lot about Leeds. Everybody's all over him. I love Michael Bridges. Michael Bridges played for us 56 times, got 19 goals with us. Injuries undoubtedly played a part, just like they do with Bamford. But he was with us for five years, and he played 56 times and 19 goals. And you'd argue that he was down as one of our sort of best, or certainly well-renowned strikers. Mark Viduka... Exceptional. He played 130 league games for us um, and got 59 goals. Really good return, that. It's pretty much one, one every two goal, got A goal every two games, which is, I think, the marker of a proper mint striker. Your bow has got around that. It's like one in every two. Because a few people said that your bow didn't get that many goals, but he got half of any game. I think he played 70, he got about 35 goals, something around that. And he were only with us for a couple of years. Alan Smith, this tickles me to, to no end. So Alan Smith had 172 league appearance with us. Would you like to hazard a guess at how many goals he got? Da, da, da. He got 38 goals. 38 goals in the league out of 172 appearances. His, his highest scoring goal tally in the league in 33 games. He played 33 games for us. And this is, bear in mind, you know, not the year that we went down. So, you know, 33 games, he got 11 goals. That's his highest ever tally for us. Gives a break. You know, so you might say, well, you know, still consistently getting 11, well, no. His next after that is nine in 35, and then we drop even lower. To be fair, in this season, he only played 22 games, got seven goals. 26 games, four goals. Or how about... A sensational season that he had for us where he played 33 games and got three goals come on boys and girls Bamford's doing everything Smith did 
Do you remember how much we all got behind Smith? He was getting about, getting stuck in. Da 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 da. Well, Bamford does that, and he scores plenty of goals. So you might think, well, it was the club. You know, we went through some dodgy patches, didn't we, while he was at the club? Well, he went to Scum, didn't he? Ninety-three games he played for Scum. He scored twelve goals in ninety-three goal in ninety-three games. Smith, come on, boys and girls, this is not what Bamford's about, is it, boy? So, yeah, I loved it. Loved the press conference. Absolutely excellent. I will be at the Sunderland game tomorrow. What's everybody saying? Who's your favourite ever striker? I'll say it again. I love Patrick Bamford. Boom. Surprises why I asked no